I've been using the R5 for around three months now, and it's been amazing. Except for one thing. And it's not overheating. Hello everyone, welcome back to Apex Studio. I purchased the Canon R5 back in August and shot a few projects with it. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed by the image quality and usability of this camera. Features like in-body image stabilization and dual pixel autofocus just make things so much easier. With that said, the R5 is not perfect, it's far from it. But my main issue with this camera is not overheating. In fact, with my shooting style, I've never even encountered the overheating warning once. Now that's just how I shoot. I'm not saying overheating is not an issue for the R5 and R6. Especially if you're shooting 8K, 4K 24HQ, or 4K 60. My problem with this camera is with its codec. When the R5 is shooting in 10-bit, regardless of whether it's shooting in lock or not, it records in H.265422. And none of the current, even the newest computers, can decode this format. It's actually quite funny that both H.265, 444, and 420 are supported, just not 422. Now I have the latest 16-inch MacBook Pro, and I can't even play back 4K 60 footage from the R5 properly without any lag. That is just annoying. Considering that I dropped $4,000 on a computer that I thought would last me at least 3 to 5 years. I'm kinda mad, and disappointed at the same time. I've done so much research on the overheating issue, and I've completely overlooked this Kodak problem. Well, there is a workaround. In Final Cut Pro, I can simply create a proxy or optimized media when I'm importing. But transcoding just takes so long. From our previous experience, it takes around 2-3 to three minutes to render 1 minute either 4K60 or 4K24HQ footage from the R5 with the Mac Pro 16 inch. Max Yuryev put together a very in-depth video on transcoding R5 footage into ProRes with different computers. I'll put a link below if you would like to learn more about it. So now I'm hoping for two things. One is for Canon to release an update for the R5 that will let it shoot in 10-bit 420 or some format that is supported by the current graphics card and CPU. And I'm not sure if I'm hopeful about that. And two is for Apple to release their new MacBook Pro with their own silicon. Considering the current iPad Pro handles this 422 10-bit codec really well, it is also safe to assume that the new MacBook Pro with Apple's own silicon will also support this codec. And it will be released in a few days. This will be a much more expensive option as I'll have to purchase yet another laptop to replace my 16 inch that is less than one year old. Anyway, the next few months will be very interesting to see whether Canon or Apple will come up with a solution for the R5. And hopefully a vaccine for COVID will be ready soon so life can finally go back to normal. For now, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay safe everyone. I'll see you next time.